Hello everybody, welcome back to Cranks, the series. It's episode 6 of Cranks. Now this one's going to be a good one, I'm going to say that. So yeah, let's get into it. <clears throat> it starts off just after um, Matt and da David, Gabriel. Matt and Gabriel uh, just put the final bombs in the sewers. And then Matt and David were out of the sewers and left. They ran to find David, Arthur... Uh, and Rebecca and Daniel, and they did. They found them, and David after Rebecca. And uh, well, when when they got there, Daniel put put, put his gun up, and so it, uh David, no no so yeah Daniel David and Arthur put it, put their guns up, but Rebecca was like, Rebecca said no 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 they good they good they say um they saved me, and those and uh, Matt and Gabriel said yeah we did, and then the, um the other people said okay then if. If you say so, Rebecca, uh, they all, well, Daniel said so, yeah, and then um, they were all together, and um, they was telling their plans, so Matt said to them his plan, so there's uh, now bombs placed out on all the edges, me and, no, yeah, me and David would go in, and then sneak up to the top, take out uh, Jack, get a cure, and then Blow it up and then get out of there. Okay, guys, is that a good plan? Matt said. And then um, David said, What if they know that we're not the gods? And then Matt said, They know I'm, I'm a god, so be safe. And if they don't think you're a god, then we can may maybe have it so you're someone I captured after some time. They said, Yeah, that'll work. We said, But well, we're gonna need some guns and some armor to make it to look like we actually are, you know, people there with us. We're gonna need that. So I said, okay, and where is so, And then um, Matt said, there's, um, so then Gabriel, so Gabriel said, there's a convoy heading out to each each street road. If you go there, intercept it, take out the, the drivers, get the, get the convoy, we can get out there easily. I said, okay, let's move out. So they all got into, into their gun, into their cars, I mean. And so they're driving to drive towards the um, West Street. And they were driving, and it was uh, David and Daniel in one car, and Beck and Arthur in another car, Matt and Gabriel in the, and in the final car in the back. So David was driving, and Daniel said to David, "So David, are you nervous?" They said, "Nervous at what?" And Daniel said, "About trying to get into Wicked and try and take it all Wicked. Are you sure that you can do it?" David said, "Well, I don't know if I can, but I have to try, don't we?" And then Dan, Daniel said to David, Well, you know I'm going to help you if you need it. I'll be there to protect you. David said, Thanks, Daniel. Daniel said, Daniel said, No problem, I got you. They said, they said Why do you like, so kind to me and stuff like that? We really know each other. Daniel said, Well, I know enough about you, David. And this is I can read people really good, and I can tell you're a good person, David. I can tell you are. There's there said thanks. Then David David said to Daniel, Daniel, did you know I was an orphan? Then Daniel said, What? He said, Yeah. I was an orphan when I was young. Jack met me when I was an orphan. Um my mum and dad, they left me on the streets but that's an orphan home. And I got at the orphan. Yeah. The the people at the orphan were kinda of abusive. It was bad at the orphan. Me and Jack met them, and that's how me and Jack became friends. Um, Daniel said, Oh, so that's how it started out with you guys. They said, Yeah, well, you, Daniel, what's your history? And he said, Well, when I was like, when, I, when, it, when it started, I was around kid age, and I was just working with, with my dad in his house, and then my clan came in. Killed my, killed, killed my father. Well, well, my father killed the crank and protected me. And then me and my father got locked, locked in, in the garage. Then my father turned and I had to kill him. They said, "Wow, well, that's rough. Then he said, yeah, but I had to stay alive, you know. And so I wasn't him anymore, so. Then Daniel said, David said, these cranks really have destroyed a lot, haven't they? They said, yeah, they have. They said, what about your mother? They said, my mother, I didn't know her. I think she died during childbirth. 
Oh, I don't know. That's what my father said to me. I said, oh, okay. Well, well, I feel bad for you. I know. But, you know, to try to, to, to do it to survive, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do to survive nowadays, right? They said, yeah, why? And, okay, let's just park here. Okay, let's get out, let's get out the car. Then they, then, uh, David and Daniel got out the car, and they got their guns up, ready, pointing at the road. Then Rebecca and Arthur went to the other side, got their stuff up, and Jack and Gabriel went to the middle. And then the people in the corner were driving, and they said, Oh, what the hell's going on here? The people at the front. That said, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, guys, 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 stop the car, stop the car. And they got out and said, What the hell, Matt? I was like, Guys, listen, I know that, you know, you guys are in the car, but boom! That quickly put on Ashley, shot him, and there he shot the other guy. They ran to the car, got got the stuff, they picked it up, and then, then boom, 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 shots all around them. Wicked were there, she was shooting at them. They look up and they started running. David, Daniel, they all ran together, and Matt and David were uh, holding the case with the stuff in it, running in the forest. And more of them came straight on one side, so they had to go left. Daniel said, the law wants to want everybody shooting near us. And they said, yeah, we know, but we can't just let go into shots. And they, they, they said, damn it. And Arthur said, that, like, guys, I can take I can take, take, take the shots if you let me. And they was like, stop me, stop me, don't be stupid, Arthur, not now. I said, sorry, guys. And then they were shooting all together. They were trying to shoot back, but the wicked lured them into one area, and they was in a circle. Then, boom, lights all around them. And then Jack was there. Jack said, Well, you ran for quite a long time, David. And I can see you some new friends, David, but I'm sorry, but, like, you know, you have to take it in. And then David said, I'm never going to go with you. Jack said, I know, I know you will, because you have no choice. Jack says, Why don't you just kill me? David, sorry, David said, Why don't you just kill me? Jack says, I'm not going to kill you. But well, take them in. They were cu- cuffed up. And then Jack says, Matt and Gabriel, wow. Did not expect you two to turn against me. Well, I'll be, I'll be surprised. Keep them walking. They were walking together, handcuffed. And they were walking into Wicked. And then, boom. David, Daniel, Matt, Gabriel, Rebecca and Arthur were all in Wicked. And Jack said, Going out into whichever room he wants. Choose which room he wants. And Jack t- took their handcuffs off. And they was like, what are you doing? And Jack said, guys, I'm not going to keep you locked up. Go on. Go, go in there. That's your room for, for the night. And they said, yeah, okay. They all went in there. And they was all sitting there together. And they was thinking, okay then. Problem. How do we get out now? Matt said, well, I don't know if they've been in this room before. It must have made this room new. And then Jack then offered, Well, maybe if we punch the walls out, maybe if we can, the walls don't look that stable, look recently built. Recently built. Becca said, Yeah, but they would hear that. And, well, there's also support in the roof that the walls are. David, David said, Man, we are screwed. And what do you mean? She said, we are in some deep stuff right now. We are really screwed. And they said, Well, now nah, what? It's like, I don't know. And they, then Jack walked in. Just Jack said, Dad, David, come with me. And they were like, Why? And they said, Just come with me now. They put the handcuff back on um, David. And he was walking with them. He walked in. Sat, they sat, sat, sat down. And Jack said to David, David, what is your plan to get out, huh? What's your plan to escape? I don't know. What's your plan, huh? Jack says, listen, I don't want to hurt you. But you're going to make me, you're going to force me to hurt you. And Jack David says, it's your choice to do what you want. Jack says, that meant fine. Fine. 
Thank you, Reliable. I mean, this is, this is going to be a problem. David was there, and David went and he hit one of the guards, took their gun, hit them in the back of the gun, shot the other one, took his cuffs off, and ran. All the other guards were shooting shoot, shoot at him. He ran, and he went to the cell, and he got the door open, and he said, Come on, guys, let's get out of here. And they all ran. And as they were running, all together, they were getting shot at, and then boom, and the blue governor shot near them and blasted them away. Then David and Daniel were together. They got up. And Daniel said, said to David, Daniel says to David, David, you're my brother. And I'm with you to the end of the line. And David says, You're my brother, my, you're my brother, my, you're my brother, my brother too, Daniel. And I'm with you to the end of the line. They were, they were like biological brothers, but they were, they were always brothers, basically. And it was Daniel they were shooting at the wicked, saying, we're in this together. And they were shooting him. And they saw their way out, the uh, an exit. They ran, got to the exit, and got out. David and Daniel were together. And then Matt and Gabe got out. They were still together. And they all met up, all four of them. And I said, poof. Okay. Uh, sorry. They did meet up, and then they said, okay, let's, 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 let's get this place safe. They all ran through a... Place to find out those shooting, get shot, shot at, and then, and there was all. They looked up in a house, thinking to herself, "What now?" And I was like, "Well, we are pretty screwed." Then, uh, that said, "Wait, where's Rebecca and Arthur?" They go, "We have to go back." We went to the windows, and they saw they was getting surrounded by a horde of cranks, and. They were all four of them were in a tiny house surrounded by cranks. And then we got to act wicked. We see Rebecca and Arthur in a room and Jack walked in. Jack says, Well, looks like someone's gonna have to die. And that's the end. That's the end of episode six. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And episode seven will be like a Kind of another feather episode, kind of, and so we'll kind of eight be, but nine and ten, the final two episodes of this thing. I'm planning for nine and ten, ten to be the final episodes of chapter one. They're gonna be big episodes, okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like, comment, comment below if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good, bye.